This video is going to be about adding a replacement LNB to a subscription satellite dish to try and modify it to receive free satellite TV channels. So here's an old Star Choice or Shaw satellite dish that I've uh, replaced the LNB on. And uh, the LNB that I've added to this is a universal KU band LNB and it's mounted on a replacement bracket. And to mount this, what I did was just uh, drill the hole in the top of the LNB arm by lining a drill bit up with this slot here on the bottom, which is for the original LNB screw. And that kept things nice and square here. And I just mounted this to the arm with a bolt. So the trick here is to get this LNB to line up with the focal point of the satellite dish. And that's the point here on the uh, dish pan that has the most concentrated signal. And to make that happen, you're going to need to adjust this LNB probably in a number of ways. Number one, you may have to adjust it laterally like this. Number two, you're going to have to adjust it uh, maybe up and down. And also the, adjust the skew and also adjust the uh, mounting depth of the LNB. Uh, usually I find it best to start with the LNB set back as far as possible and you can always move it in a little bit at a time if you need to. But there's a lot of uh, fussing that is going to be required to get a mismatched LNB and dish um, set up properly. So what I found was that I had to um, actually bend this arm a little bit to get that LNB pointed more towards the center of the dish. And it just took a lot of fussing. There's really no magic way to do it. You could calculate the focal point of the dish with, and make some measurements, but um, I find it just easier to uh, use a satellite signal meter and just make some adjustments until you get it as close as you can and then run a blind scan and see uh, if you get any channels. So the first thing I did was mounted the satellite dish and I adjusted the elevation for the satellite I was trying to receive. I chose Galaxy 19, 97 West KU band because that satellite has lots of channels and transponders on it and it's a pretty easy KU band satellite to receive. And once I got the elevation as close as possible, I then used a compass to adjust the uh, dish azimuth or the compass direction of the dish and once I got the direction set as close as possible I then went about adjusting the LNB using the steps I outlined a minute ago adjusting the mounting depth I even bent that bracket a little bit to try and focus it on the focal point of the dish but it's really kind of a trial and error method when you're doing it that way but I was able to uh, get it to work. So let's hook up a satellite meter and have a look at the results. So the first time I scanned it, I got 79 channels. And I went back and readjusted that LNB a little more, and this time I was able to get 98 channels. Now there's more than that on Galaxy 19, so I can probably adjust this maybe a little more. Uh, mind you, if I was using a larger dish, that would also make a difference too. And once you get the LNB adjusted, you should be able to move the dish around and tune in different satellites. Uh, one thing I'd say about dishes you're gonna try this with, I wouldn't waste my time trying to put a replacement LNB on a Bell dish or a Dish Network dish. Those are a little too small for linear satellite signals. If you're gonna do this, um, use either a Direct TV dish, one of those big oval ones would be great for this. Or the Shaw dishes, although the Shaw satellite dishes already have a linear KU band LNB on them that is perfect for free satellite TV. But if you get a 
an old Shaw dish with a broken L&B or it just plain doesn't work, then give this a try. Um, a replacement L&B doesn't cost very much anyways, so it might be uh, worth it to get that dish up and running again. So it's possible to do, but there's no magic uh, formula for this as far as I'm concerned. It just takes a little bit of uh, trial and error. But if you want, it's possible to add a replacement L&B to a subscription satellite dish from Shaw or DirecTV to repurpose for free satellite TV.